Rostec specialists are currently engaged in establishing a testing base for the airborne launchers of the forthcoming next-generation strategic missile-carrying bomber, Pak Da. The state-owned company confirmed this in an official statement Wednesday. Rostec added that a team from one of its enterprises, comprised of Semyon Startsev, Dmitry Pivovarov, Alexander Malinin, and Nikita Sokratov, secured the award in the category for contribution to creating the testing base. Their work, specifically the development of a comprehensive set of bench equipment for testing airborne launchers, was acknowledged by experts. As part of the prospective aviation complex of long-range aviation program, the team conducted a full cycle of research and development R&D, and experimental design work, contributing to the establishment of the testing base and a suite of test benches, Rostec stated in its press release. Russian Deputy Defense Minister Alexei Kriveruko had previously announced in December 2019 that the conceptual design of the Pak Da aircraft had received approval, and Tupolev Aircraft Company had commenced the development of its working design documentation. In a report by TASS in 2022, it was revealed that prototypes of the latest engine, codenamed Izdali RF, designed for the Pak Da, had successfully undergone bench tests. The prospective aviation complex of long-range aviation, Pak Da, is characterized by its design based on the flying wing scheme. The next-generation bomber incorporates advanced technologies and materials to minimize its radar signature. Capable of carrying both current and future strategic cruise missiles, precision bombs, and hypersonic weapons, the aircraft is equipped with communications and electronic warfare systems, while flying at a subsonic speed. The Pak Da is expected to have a subsonic speed, 12,000 kilometers, 7,500 miles, operational range and a capability to continuously remain in the air for up to 30 hours while carrying both conventional and nuclear payloads up to 30 tons. The aircraft is expected to have a crew of four.